Hey, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're gonna catch a cold. <sighs> what are you praying for? Isn't there something you want to ask me? When Sherman ambushed us, he was targeting me for a reason. Oh, that. Well, you shouldn't be worrying about that bastard anyway. Whatever his reasons, I'm sure he's totally mistaken. Or, do you think he was targeting you because of your looks or something? Because that's really vain of you. I know why Sherman was after me. I should have told you sooner. What are you talking about? I... am a descendant of the vile god. Well, this is awkward. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear you make a terrible joke just now. No, it's true. If I continue to live, the vile god may be reborn in my future children. Or, even worse, it's possible that the vile god could be revived in my body. How do you know that? My mother told me. She raised me by herself. Ugh. My mother was a very kind person, but she never told me about her past. Not even the reason she left my father. But one day, I had a dream. In it, the vile god had just been defeated by the goddess and was struggling to be reborn. Then, the vile god began speaking to me directly. He begged me repeatedly to break the seal containing him. When I told my mother about this dream, she went pale and told me the truth about my birthplace, my father, and my tribe. Your tribe? My tribe is descended from the vile god. For generations, they've been planning to use their power to take over the world. That's an unfortunate family history. Yes. My mother learned this shortly after marrying my father. She left him while I was still in her womb. When my mother finally fell ill, she apologized to me from her deathbed with tears in her eyes. She said, I'm sorry I birthed you with such a horrific burden. I have heard rumors that other descendants of the vile god, much like my tribe, are scattered throughout the world. These people want to use the power of the vile god to take over the world and reshape it as they see fit. The same blood that flows through their veins resides in me as well. So? Huh? So what do you want to do? Me? I don't care about the vile god, your tribe, or your blood. None of that matters to me. What matters is what you want to do. If Dorva wants me for my blood, it might be best for everyone if I just die instead. You idiot. What would dying accomplish? You met us because you're supposed to live. But if the vile god is revived, this world will... I won't let that happen. I'll beat the crap out of anyone who tries to do that. The vile god doesn't matter, the goddess doesn't matter. Life is life, and I'll protect yours no matter what. <laughs> you really are such an... Now that that's settled, stop worrying about stupid stuff. All you gotta do is be quiet and follow me. Come on, let's go home. You're really gonna catch a cold if you stay here much longer. join you? I'll wash your back. Wow, your skin is so beautiful. It glows like a pearl. And your boobs are the perfect size and shape, too. P please stop touching me there! Now, now, it's nice to have some quality time with just us girls. Wow, the nape of your neck is beautiful, too. And your hair is so shimmery and sparkly. Wait a moment. It seems rather strange for you to excessively praise me like this. You must have heard my conversation with Fang, and came here to console me. <laughs> you caught me. Mind your own business. I am not so sad that I need to be consoled by the likes of you. <laughs> you flat-chested busybody. Huh? Flat-chested? Are you serious? My boobs are way bigger than yours are. Oh my. Are we looking at the same chest? Mine are clearly three times the size of yours, if not bigger. Mine are bigger! No, mine are bigger! <laughs> Aaron, can you promise me something? Anything. If for some reason, the vile god's blood begins to stir within me... What? Please kill me. 
What are you talking about? If you really want to die so badly, kill yourself now! Right now! <gasps> if you can't do that, then live. Live and fight. You're the only one who can fight the vile god's blood that's inside you. You are right. I'm sorry I even asked. It's okay. Just don't ever talk about dying again. Got it? Yes. I understand. All right. It's best time. Ah! I don't want to see that. <laughs> Don't you think Lola should know where the faith drop is by now? Yeah, you're right. She definitely owes us for selling bad information. Let's see if she'll cut us a deal. Job. Does this faith drop even exist at all? If it does, I'm bound to care about it eventually. But I do have some other nice information. A cash reward is being offered to anyone who slays this monster. No, that's fine. I'll come back later. Man, we're in a bind. If Lola doesn't know where it is, I don't know how we're supposed to find it. I guess Aaron's memories are the only lead we have. But my memories are still so fragmented. That's why you just need to do your best and try to remember. It's not that easy, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Fang, a word please? Why don't you try going to the inverted tower to see if the faith drop is hidden there? The inverted tower? Yeah. The subterranean tower and the inverted tower were supposedly built long ago by a wise and ancient civilization. It's theorized that this civilization's wisdom came directly from the goddess. Which means both structures functioned as shrines where they would worship the goddess. Gotcha. So, if we're looking for treasure that's connected to the goddess, odds are we'll find it in a place like that. Huh? This conversation feels strangely familiar to me. That's right! Before we traveled back to the past, I got some of my memories back at the subterranean tower! Oh yeah, that's it! So this time, we have to go to the inverted tower! Let's move! <laughs> 